made it to one of the most remote places I have ever been. I feel like we have the biggest smiles on our face right now because we're children. <laughs> we literally drove two and a half hours from Madrid and then another 30 minutes from the closest town. On a dirt, rugged, rocky road. Literally the middle of nowhere and we have not seen another human for 45 minutes? About, At yeah. least 45 minutes. But all for this one moment. All for this one, the big reveal. The big reveal. The castle. <laughs> the Castilla de Zafa. Castillo de Zafa. And what's the coolest part about it, Robert? I don't know. What is the coolest? It's, like it's in the Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, of course. It's Although in the I Game of watch. Thrones. Shh, I don't know if you want to watch. <laughs> Robert, I'm really excited about this castle. We're going to hike up to it right now. But if you see all around us, there's really no one else out here. Like if I were to build a castle, this for sure would be the place where I'd build it. It's like on the tallest ridge overlooking everything. We're in the province, the Guadalajara province. It's breathtaking. It was called what? The Tower of Joy in Game of Thrones? Yeah, the Tower of Joy. Season six, according to a Telegraph article we read coming here. The Tower of Joy. Nobody lives there now, I don't think. So we can knock on the door. The Telegraph article said you need to ask permission to enter though. And how long has it been here? It was starting, it said it was getting built in the 12th, 12th and 13th centuries it was built. And it was impenetrable until the 15th century. Almost a thousand years old. I've never been in a place this remote though where there are no other people around ever, ever in my life. Are you nervous? I'm excited and a little nervous. We're, we're pretty sure that no one's been up here for like a month. <laughs> we think. We just assumed we're like, no one else has come here. There's no one here today. If you look down there, I don't know if you can see it, but our car is the only little car right down there. And then it's just openness. And coming, we drove through a few deserted towns. There were, they were shut down, abandoned. And the little town here, what was the town called? Ombrados. Tiny, tiny little town that we drove through these really narrow streets that then led us to this long dirt path that stretched all the way up to here. year old castle in the middle of nowhere in Spain. I can't stop. This is probably like, probably visited about 10 castles in my life. 10? I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> but <laughs> Today we, we're calling it our castle tour. We already saw that, a few castles. That, inc man, that includes Magic Kingdom at Disneyland, uh, Sleeping Beauty's <laughs> Castle in Orlando. <laughs> but this is definitely But this is a favorite. real castle. You can climb up here. We're gonna climb up. I'm gonna charge you 10 euros to come in, by the way. <laughs> the Telegraph article said to get inside, you do need to contact someone. So we're not gonna make it in, but we may as well see how high up we could go. <laughs> the only animal two that I've seen here have been flies. And those birds. <sighs> That's so sad. Privado. It's as far as we can go. We can go around the other side. Also, there's a white truck in the distance. Oh, there is one other car that we, we just spotted. Uh, down down there. there, and I feel like they're like private security. <laughs> Keep an eye on the camera. Maybe, but I don't know the point because there's like no one else up here for miles and miles around. 